guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Shamir. Thanks for joining us today. And if you're new, by the way, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we just found each other. So we don't want to lose touch, okay? Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss when I upload a new video. Okay, you guys, so today's video is going to be my basically organizing my fridge with me, okay? So some of you may or may not know that recently we dealt with Hurricane Ida and um, if you watch my Hurricane Ida vlog, you will know that I unfortunately lost all of the food in my fridge and freezer and had to throw everything out, clean out the fridge and I decided, you know what, I've been procrastinating because like I really need organization in my life, okay? I mean, just to be honest, I need organization in my life. So I've been procrastinating and I've been really wanting to organize my fridge. So I was like, why not take this time? You know, when life gives you limits, okay? Just make lemonade, okay? That's my motto, that's what I was trying to do. So I said, this would be the perfect time for me to actually start organizing my fridge. So um, yeah, I went shopping and I got all of the items that I could find at the moment. A lot of the stores were still closed, so there are still some things that I want to you know, add as far as storage situations for the refrigerator. But for right now, I got what I could get. And um, I'll show you guys in this video the food that I purchased and how I placed them in the bins and organized everything. And I also show you each item and tell you where it came from and how much it cost. Okay. So, yeah. Also, please note um, this was, you know, right after the storm. So, when the stores did start getting food, they didn't quite have everything. So I'll probably be doing an update sometime in the near future so that you guys can see just the fridge with it a little more full once there are actually items, you know, because there are actually items in the store now. Like some stuff I literally could not find, like my son's little juice pops and things like that. And also another thing to note is some things did, like I kind of changed up the placement just because I feel like I want to do a little more research on basically where you should actually be putting certain stuff in the fridge because I heard that's a thing and my husband was like mm, I don't think I want the potatoes to be where you put them and that sort of thing so yeah there'll definitely be some type of um, fridge update coming in the near future but for now here is what I did so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do make sure you give it a big thumbs up and um, yeah let's get organizing so here are the grocery items that I just purchased. I went to Target. We have some carrots, some tomatoes, bell peppers, eggs, lemons, um, some apples, sweet potatoes, zucchini, squash, asparagus, um, crescent rolls, I have a steak, um, apple juice, and some coffee, and some spinach. So these are the items that I'm going to be placing in the refrigerator into the clear bins. So here are the items that I got for the refrigerator organization. First up are these Rubbermaid containers. I got these um, from Target. and I got these um, because I wanted these to be able to be used for either leftover items or um, I may be able to store some stuff in them as well. <laughs> I like the look of these. I like how they match the clear organizers. And um, I also like the tops on these as well. It wasn't too colorful because they had some that had lots of colors. So, yes, I will have these linked down below if you guys would like to know about these. And I believe that this pack was $24.99. Next up, I went to Ross. I was actually going to Marshall's at first because I saw some of the refrigerator organization there, but they weren't open today. So I got some things from Ross. The first one is this little clear uh, storage bin. It's not specifically for the refrigerator, but I felt like I could make use of it. And it's just, it says closet storage bin, but you guys, it's a clear bin, just like the refrigerator organizer bin. So I felt like this one would be good for maybe like some little juices and small things for my son. So that's why I got this one. Then they also had these bins, these clear bins here. These were $5.99. And as you can see, these are refrigerator bins. 
and I like these. I felt like they weren't too big, so I got two of these for probably some of the bigger items like maybe um, apples or the lemons. Let me turn it to where you guys can see it. So I got these two from Ross and if I need more then I'll definitely go back to purchase additional ones as well. These next items are actually from the Dollar Tree. There were none of the egg storage containers at Ross or at Target but I went to the Dollar Tree and you guys I actually found an egg storage here. Now it's not quite the same of course this one um, is not the same type of hard plastic but you guys from the sides and stuff I feel like when I separate stuff and put it in different sides of the refrigerator it's going to work well enough until I can find the ones like this from the store but this one is going to work just fine and it was only a dollar okay so I actually got two of these I don't eat that many eggs but I got two of them because I was like hey my mom might want one also so let me grab it while I saw it so you can't beat those for a dollar and everything doesn't have to match a hundred percent as long as it's all neat and organized I feel like it's fine and then I got this and then I got this um, clear container also from the dollar tree um because i felt like this one would definitely um come in handy and it looks more like this so i feel like what i'll probably do is put the items that look like this on one shelf and then the ones that look like this on another or just kind of blend it and mix it in but i'm sure it'll come out cute also from the dollar tree so I also got this drink pitcher from the Dollar Tree. It was only a dollar, of course. And I got this one because it kind of matches more with these items. And I want to save space as far as having bottles and stuff like that in the fridge. So I felt like this drink pitcher will definitely come in handy. And the last item I got are these hefty storage slider gallon bags. I feel like there are some items that I might just need to store in a Ziploc bag and why not just have some because of course Ziploc bags are clear you know it'll still go along and look neat if I need them so I got that as well now what I'm going to do is wash all of these items Sorry about the beeping some chocolate chip cookies because ooh, I love cold cookies um, spinach onions tomatoes um, zucchini I have some squash at the bottom the apples the lemons bell peppers and this is the drinks here I just have some of the overflow items and it was good because I actually was able to put the date on them and also the potatoes and stuff at the bottom and on this side I have some cookie dough some heavy whipping cream um, the few condiments that we were able to salvage uh, throughout the storm and this shelf I actually wanted to be like a breakfast section so there's the coffee um, sausage and bacon and crescent rolls my husband's probably gonna be like why would you put meat <laughs> next to my coffee but you know he's plant-based and then we have our uh, plant butter and uh, non-dairy chocolate plant-based for him so yeah this is how it's looking 
and of course I definitely more need more items I also need some some more fruit and stuff like that but right now with source just getting electricity and all of that there's not that much left at the store so I had to get what I could get you guys